Hi there. Now for this question, we're given the graph of y equals mod x and asked to transform it to the graph y equals the mod of all of two lots of x plus 3 and to be able to transform it in two transformations. Now in order to do this, I'm assuming that you're familiar with transformations of graphs. If not, do check out my videos on this. So what I'm going to do is let f of x equal mod x. It's easier to work with f of x. Okay, so let f of x equal mod of x. And one way that we can achieve this, I'm just looking at expanding this. And I notice that we're going to get 2x plus 6. So I can start to work on this 2x part by thinking of what we would get if I was to replace the x with 2x. So that would be f of 2x. f of 2x, remember then, means that I replace any x in the function with 2x now. So what we get is the mod of 2x. Now what I'm going to do is define a new function. I'm going to say let g of x now, g of x equal the mod of 2x. So what I want to do now to get this is replace the x with x plus 3. So then if I do g of x plus 3, then replacing the x with x plus 3, I'm going to get two lots of x plus 3, which is our new graph. And we've achieved it in two transformations. So what are those transformations? Well, you should be familiar with this one, f of 2x. Whenever we've got a constant, let's say a, f of ax, then it represents a stretch parallel to the x-axis scale factor 1 over a. So in this example, what we've got is a stretch scale factor a half parallel to the x-axis. Okay, now the other transformation is this one here, g of x plus 3, which gave us the final graph. Should be familiar with this one. When you've got x plus a, a being a constant, then it represents a translation parallel to the x-axis of minus a. So in other words, what we've got here is a translation minus 3, 0. In other words, three units to the left parallel to the x-axis. So that's one particular version that we could have. Another one would be to build up this through, let's say, 2f of x. Okay, So if we did two lots of f of x, then this is going to be 2 times the mod of x, 2 times mod x. Now if I let, let's say, h of x, okay, equal to mod of x, then if I replace the x with x plus 3, in other words, if I do h of x plus 3, then what I've got then is 2 times the mod of x plus 3. But because 2 is a positive value, then I can take it inside the mod. It's going to be exactly the same. So it's the same as the mod of 2 lots of x plus 3. So I'm back to this equation here again. So when it comes to looking at the two transformations that we can have here, then for two lots of f of x, a times f of x, a being a positive constant, represents a stretch, scale factor a, parallel to the y-axis. So what we've got here is a stretch, scale factor 2, parallel to the y-axis. And then for this last bit, h of x plus 3, this is exactly the same as what we had up here. In other words, a translation 
minus 3, 0. Three units then to the left, parallel to the x-axis. So there's two examples then of ways that we could transform this graph, y equals the mod of x, onto this graph, y equals the mod of two lots of x plus 3. Okay?